Newsline continues. 12 months ago on a day like this, Kenyans were ready to usher in the newly elected fifth president of the republic. KTN's reporter Brenda Zenda Redito takes us through the mood of the country a day before President Uhuru Kenyatta handed over power to his deputy and political friend turned four. Uhuru had not spoken to his predecessor for months, uh, for, to his successor rather, for months ahead of the general election and their political grudge would continue for months after the swearing in. Final touch-ups and rehearsals were underway at Kasarani Stadium. That was to host the swearing-in ceremony of Kenya's president-elect William Kipchirchir Samoy Ruto. It was a bittersweet moment for Kenyans, depending on one's political affiliation. And as the country was preparing for the new commander-in-chief, questioned lingered on whether the then outgoing president Uhuru Kenyatta would be present to hand over the instrument of power. Bearing in mind the frosty relationship between the two former political partners. And as the clock ticked towards Ruto's big day, former President Kenyatta would change the mood of the country when he invited the president elect to State House as part of the tradition. It was seen as an icebreaker after the previously cordial relationship between the two was thrown into turmoil by the now infamous handshake. The process of handing over is in progress through the Assumption of Office Committee, which actually has already begun its work as of August 10th, 2022. And indeed, it is my intention to oversee a smooth transition to the next administration and all the necessary orders to facilitate this process have already been issued. On the morning of the historic day, it was cheers and jubilation as Kenyans thronged the venue in the numbers to witness the event that was attended by different heads of state and dignitaries. Pastor Dorcas Rigadi. As part of the protocol, Deputy President elect Rigadi Gashagwa and President elect William Ruto would make their way which paved the arrival of the outgoing president. He would minutes later enjoy his last guard of honor and bid farewell as Kenya's fourth president. The much anticipated moment of handing over instruments of power came. Former President Kenyatta would hand over the sword of the commander-in-chief indicating that power had changed and immediately the aide camp moved from behind Kenyatta to President William Ruto. It was not an easy affair for the deputy president while he took his oath of office, being forced to repeat the oath. Of uh, the that I will diligently serve the people, discharge my duties, and perform my functions in the state office. May I request that we take it again, please? To the best of my judgment. Unlike his predecessors, the late President Daniel Arap Moi and the late Mwai Kibaki, who gave the last farewell speech, former President Uhuru Kenyatta chose otherwise at the colorful ceremony. First to address the nation, as a deputy president, was regarding Gashagwe. He did not mince his words. Once we try to fix this economy and create a good working environment where we don't criminalize enterprise, where ordinary Kenyans are allowed to work, where businessmen are not harassed by KRA, where goods belonging to the people of Kenya will never again be touched by Ovazila's public servants. Where again poor people will never again be evicted in brutal evictions by state agencies. And I say, freedom is here. Let every Kenyan be prepared to work hard. Let us give our new president a chance. During his inaugural speech as the fifth president, Ruto laid down a strategic plan for the country for the first 100 days in office. We anchored our campaign on the platform 
of the economy premised on job creation and the well-being of the people of Kenya, and we have been working continuously on the measures to bring down the cost of living. Our people are confronted daily with increasingly unaffordable prices, especially food and transport. For the short rains, we have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya shillings 3,500 for a 50 kilogram bag down from the current 6,500. Brenda Zeda Radido, K10 News.